Nutrition Microbes in Human Welfare What are microbes? Microbes are those living organisms which are microscopic. These belong to the kingdom Monera, like bacteria, cyanobacteria, actinomycetes, etc. Kingdom Fungi, like rusts, smuts, molds, etc. and Kingdom Protista, example, protozoans, viruses, commonly called broadline organisms, viroids, and prions are also included in microorganisms. Microbes occur in almost all the parts of the world. These have been found in all the parts of the biosphere, including air, water and soil. Some of these are also present in the sites with extremes of environmental conditions and there are even more advanced animals, including human beings, cannot survive. Economic importance of microbes. Microbes are both useful and harmful for the human beings. The microbes contribute to human welfare in the following ways. A. Microbes in household products. 1. Production of genes. It is nutritive product produced by curdling and ripening of milk. Curdling is done by bacterial strains like Streptococcus lactis and Nucleostar citrovirin by ripening of solid curd is done by different bacterial strains which provide characteristics, texture, flavor and taste to the cheese. Depending upon the ripening process, there are about 400 types of cheese. Example 1. Swiss cheese is ripened by bacterium, Propionibacterium, Charbonnai, which produces CO2. 2. Rockford cheese is ripened by a specific fungal species, which provides specific flavor to it. 2. Dosa. These are produced by the bacterium fermentation of rice, during which CO2 is involved which causes doughing of the raw material. 3. Bread Bake industry Bread is prepared by adding baker's yeast, saccharomyces, cerevisi to the wheat flour. Yeast secretes the zymase complex which contains a number of enzymes like maltase which changes maltose to glucose Cymase, which converts glucose to ethanol and CO2. Microbes in industrial production. Even in the industry, microbes are used to synthesize a number of products valuable to human beings. Beverages and antibiotics are some examples. Production on an industrial scale requires growing microbes in very large vessels called fermenters. Fermented beverages. Production of fermented beverages, especially alcoholic drink like wine, beer, whiskey, brandy, gin, rum, etc., in the brewing industry, is based on the alcoholic fermentation of malted cereals and fruit juices. Non alcoholic beverages like curing of coffee beans, tea leaves, and tobacco leaves is carried by the fermentation action of certain bacteria to add special flavor, color, and aroma in them. Antibiotics Antibiotics produced by microbes are regarded as one of the most significant discoveries of the 20th century and have greatly contributed towards the welfare of the human society. Antibiotics are chemical substances which are produced by some microbes and can kill or retard the growth of other microbes. You are familiar with the commonly used antibiotic penicillin antibiotics. 
have greatly improved our capacity to treat deadly diseases such as plague, whooping cough, Kali Khansi, diphtheria, galgoto, and leprosy, kush stroke, which used to kill millions all over the globe. Microbes in sewage treatment. Sewage treatment is a process of removing contaminants from wastewater and household sewage, both run of domestic, commercial, and institutional. It includes physical, chemical, and biological processes to remove physical, chemical, and biological contaminants. Treatment of sewage. A. Primary treatment. In this method, mechanical screening and sedimentation of undissolved solids in raw sewage, like floating polythene bags and other objects, large lumps of organic matter, sand and silt, is done. So, the sewage passes through mesh screens of successively smaller pore sizes. After screening, the sewage is passed through a grid chamber to separate sand and small petals by sedimentation. Finally, the sewage is passed into the primary settling tank where most of the suspended particles settle down to form the primary sludge. It falls to remove any dissolved substance in water. It does not remove the pathogens. B. Secondary or biological treatment. Sewage treated in primary treatment is brought in contact with oxygen and aerobic microorganisms. They break down the organic matter into harmless materials as CO2 and H2. Further, chlorination is done. Further chlorination is done to kill the bacteria. It may be further treated to tertiary level. Two measures are adopted for secondary treatment. 1. Trickling filter method. In this case, sewage water passes through a thick bed of gravel stones so that bacteria consume most of the organic matter. 2. Activated sludge method. In this, sewage water is pumped into an aeration tank which contains sludge consisting of bacteria and algae. In aeration tank, Bacteria multiply rapidly and form masses along with fungal filaments to form aggregates or flocks. The bacteria are able to decompose most of the organic matter while algae provides oxygen to these decomposers. The bacteria commonly used in sewage treatment are coliform, clostridium, pseudomonas, Micropocus, etc. C. Advanced Waste Management or Tertiary Treatment. In this, salts like nitrates and phosphates are removed by precipitation techniques. Precipitation technique Water is now pure enough to drink. Yamuna Action Plan. The Yamuna Action Plan by Amy, is a bilateral project. Government of India and Japan. It is one of the largest river restoration projects in India. The Government of Japan, via the Japanese Bank for International Cooperation (JBIC), has provided financial aid of 17.7 million yen to carry out the project, which is being executed by the National River Conservation Directorate, the Ministry of Environment and Forests, and the Government of India.